YouTube welcome back to my channel and today as you can see I'm pretty barefaced all I have is my uh, highlight on we're going to be testing out new products or new products to me they're rel new or relatively new on the market and we're gonna be going I guess step by step so the first step I'm gonna do is lips and then I'm gonna show you a new eyeshadow palette blush and highlight uh, but I'm breaking it all up into individual steps so this video is going to be uh, some new lipsticks that I picked up from ColourPop. I was finally able to grab the four of the Cy Sophia Nygaard collection, and I just dropped one of the boxes. So I was able to get Screamer, which is a matte, and the boxes that these the packaging that these tubes of lipstick came in are gorgeous it's supposed to be like swirled up lipstick it's based on her bad science series where they melt down different lipsticks uh makeup and see what they can do by mixing all the nudes in one store or all the blues or greens it was a uh, pretty interesting and I've uh done that when I've had like uh when I have old makeup and I just kind of combined it all together to see what color will it come out to be so I've always found that kind of uh fun and uh yeah I guess you can call it bad makeup science so we have four colors I have screamer which is a matte and that is what it looks like and it's not focusing. Okay, doesn't want to focus. But it's Screamer, a matte color. And then we have... There's two mattes and two creams. And I didn't get two of the colors. I got Fred, which is a cream red lipstick. And I'll give you more... Um, uh, I'll give you more about the products when I try it on. I'm just giving you kind of a basis of what colors I got. So Fred, which is, I think, when they mixed up all of the red lipsticks in Sephora or in her collection. So, um, this also looked interesting. These are all cruelty-free. So the next one we have is Brucey, which is a matte, and that is a very dark, like, blue-green color. So that's what Brucey looks like. I must have turned my autofocus off or something because it's not autofocusing. <laughs> Okay, and then the last one I got was Mrs. Norris, which is a creme, and I think this was when she mixed nudes. I think it was when she mixed all of her nudes, or at some, or maybe this was like when she went to Sephora and she mixed together all the browns in the nudes. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have seen all of those makeup, um, bad science makeup um, projects that she's done. So the lipsticks are $8. They're the Creme, Lu Creme Luxe lipsticks, which I think is a great deal. All of the lipsticks have four stars, and I didn't get two of them. I didn't get Bikini Bottom, which I think that one was the mix of all of her nudes in her collection. And I didn't get Bury Me in Lipsticks, which Bury Me in Lipsticks was, uh, come on, Bury Me in Lipsticks is a universally flattering mauve berry shade and the ultimate bad makeup science experiment. This is the midpoint of over 600 melted lipsticks. Okay, so that's the color she came out with 
when she melted um, all the lipsticks in Sephora. So I don't have, I don't have Bury Me. Um, I do have Fred, which is a full-bodied red, the Franken Red, Fred for short. So let me do, <coughs> excuse me, let me do a swatch of them too. And the packaging on this is adorable. It says, it says on the bottom, Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop. You can't really... You can kind of see it, but since I think I turned my uh, autofocus off, it's not focusing. And then you have these adorable little bats on the cap, and then you have the color right here. And then you roll up the lipstick, and there are little bats in the sides of the lipsticks how freaking cute is that you can't see it but there are little bats in the lipstick and let me swatch fred or frank and red i love this red color i always like a kind of deep blood colored red that is so pretty then we have Brucey, which is a matte sharky blue green. And I would definitely agree with that. Again, uh, you have the bats on it. You can kind of see it a little better in that one. Gotta remember to leave the autofocus on. So let me swatch this. The mattes are not like a dry mat. They're like um, the Maybelline Comfort Mattes, which I love those lipsticks. And they do last a long time. I mean, they're not like 100% kiss proof, but they get the job done and they leave your lips like nice and feeling comfortable they don't feel like they're having the life sucked out of them like when you put a liquid lipstick on or like a mac retro mat those will dry the hell out of your lips okay the next color we have is mrs norris okay let's go back Okay, sorry guys. For some reason my tablet always takes a little bit longer to load. Okay, Mrs. Norris, a sultry grayish brown like a gray tabby cat. I like that description. So this is Mrs. Norris, and these are actually my favorite types of um, nudie lipsticks, like the grayish colors gray and beige i love those very um grunge very early um 80 no early 90s mid 90s so that's mrs norris so brucey fred mrs norris and then the last one i have is screamer which is Oh, and if you want to get the all of them in the bundle, it's $46 um, versus $8 a piece. I don't think you're really getting a discount. I think you're just paying the normal price and then you're getting a nice little um, box. It's really cute. I thought about getting it, but... Then there was two lipsticks that I wasn't going to use, and I don't need any more cute, like, PR-looking boxes, or I don't need any more boxes uh, kind of cluttering my house up. So that's what the PR kit looked like. It was a box, and then it had a bat as a cutout. 
And then on the inside, that's what it looked like. It had the lipstick swirls on it. I'm going to make sure I have my auto focus turned on next time. So the last color we have is Screamer, which is, I didn't even get to uh, explain it to you. Screamer is a matte luxe lipstick, a matte deep burgundy red. Eat your heart out. So it is a very, very dark vampy color. So if you're not into those vampy purple red colors, might not be for you. And it looks like it's drying, but I've worn it before. It doesn't dry your lips out. So I'm going to start with this grayish color. Where is my... I get everything out to be ready, and then I can't find it. Okay. So let's get Mrs. Norris. Don't want to push too much up. I've never had these break by pushing too much up, but in general, you never want to push your lipstick really past like that much sticking out. Ooh, that's pretty. So that's what it looks like on the bottom. Very 90s. And if you're wondering what highlight I'm wearing, I'm wearing Money Honey from uh, Jeffree Star, The Supreme Frost. I can't wait to get my uh, Lucky bag from Beautylish. And you can get away with wearing these without lip liners or with them. Some of the darker colors, I would recommend wearing a lip liner with them because they don't bleed, but it helps keep everything on the lips. So that's what uh, Mrs. Norris looks like. I think it's a beautiful color. So let me pause, take this off, and then we will apply the another, another color. I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, on to the second color. So the next light, the next three colors are all pretty dark. Mrs. Norris is the lightest one. Uh, I'm going to try Fred on next. The more brighter, truer red. And this is a cream, so it's gliding on really nice. So that is very pretty. It's a very true red. So I, or uh, I ordered the uh, new Toddy Beauty tool that she uh, came out with today. And I was intrigued because I've always noticed in the past few years, she's been using this like leopard print kind of puff thing to do her makeup and... 
I saw it was kind of like a microfiber, maybe something fabric, and I've been kind of trying to find something like that, and I haven't been able to find a puff like that, and I don't know, something about that puff really intrigues me, so if you want me guys to do a, um video using the puff and how to apply makeup and doing like you know a review and maybe like a full face of makeup with the puff uh let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below so this is really pretty and it looks like it would be a dangerous lipstick to wear but i've worn the cream ones before and um I wouldn't, you know, go kissing people with this, but if you're just wearing it and talking, it does last a long time, and it does set, and um, it'll leave, like, a nice kind of stain where if the lipstick wears off, there's still a little something there that... Um, won't embarrass you if, you know, you can't run to the bathroom right away and you're sitting, you know, at the dinner table with your friends. This red isn't going to um, leave your lips, but don't eat a burger with this because then this lipstick will be all over your face. But it is a beautiful color. It's making my teeth seem a little whiter. That's always good, and it's always nice to have a nice classic red in your makeup collection. So let me take this one off. All right, let me... Okay, not too much stainage when removing it. That's why I didn't want to put on a full face of makeup when I was trying these colors on because I knew my face would stain. I pre-ordered also from Colored Rain. They redid their pigment palette, so that should... Sorry, I got a wig hair caught under my septum ring. That, the, blah, 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 that should be here, they said... I think, like, by the end of January, beginning of February, they said we should get our, um, our, uh, brain fart. Colored Rain. Colored Rain Vivid Pigments Redo Palette. So, we'll see. I have the old one, which I love. Um, the colors are a little dry in it, but I have no problem with it, so I want to see what they did to, um, quote unquote, make it better. We'll see if they actually did. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get that in my hands. And also, um, I'm not going on a no buy, but a little bit of a low buy because I want to enjoy the makeup I have, actually use up product I have, and get better more at techniques this year so I can actually do like sitting down and doing like a tutorial and not just doing the same look over and over again. So um, because I am going to be going back to school to become a uh, esthetician and um, cosmetologist, um, I would like to know both trades. It's always good to know as much as you can in your industry. But yeah, I'm going back to school for uh, makeup, so I definitely want to learn like what formulas I really love, what brands I really love, what types of shadows, you know, I lose it for, and what types of shadows that, you know, you could send to the moon and I would be happy never seeing again, and what brands do I really, really love. Like, I have... A few brands that I'm like ride or die for I love, but I really want to get to know more brands and get to know my collection and stuff. So I will be bringing in new pieces here and there, but um, it might not, well, I don't even, you guys don't even see half the makeup that I get because 
I don't have time. So, I mean, you guys probably wouldn't even know if I pulled a palette out that's, you know, a regular palette you can buy all year round. You wouldn't know that I had it sitting in my drawer for a few weeks unless I told you. So, I think I want to, you know, get to use a lot of the products I have and here and there bring in some new stuff. Like, I've on I'm only allowing myself to get... Two eyeshadow palettes, two eyeshadow palettes a month. Trust me, you may think this is a lot. It's a lot less for me compared to what I used to buy. Um, and one or two highlighters a month. So I'm only allowed to get two eyeshadow palettes, two highlighters, and two lipsticks. And... Uh, I'm still working the rules out. So when I come to a full um, understanding of what my kind of low buy will be, I'll let you guys know. But let's go on to the next color. We did Fred. We did Screamer. We did Mrs. Norris. And then the last color is Brucey. If you own the color JV and you didn't want to get this color because you thought it would be the same, they are two completely different colors. I swatched them today. One is a teal green matte and one is like a dark, inky, blackish matte. You'll see when I try this on because it looks like it would be teal. It does have teal in there, but I think it has gray in it, too. And very smooth for a matte. Yeah, it's a matte. All of these colors are so gorgeous. Pretty. This is the one I would say definitely this one and Fred. And actually, with all these darker ones, I would recommend wearing a lip line because it will define the lips a little better. Um, I'm not always the biggest fan of lip liner, but it will also prevent... It kind of riding around like that. So this color is beautiful, too. Um, a little more unique colors. I know not a lot of people are into a dark teal lipstick, but Mrs. Norris, um, I think, is a great everyday color. And... Um, Fred. Those are like the two normal colors. So if you're looking for like a nice basic grazy nude, I would go with Mrs. Norris. If you're looking for a nice kind of classic red, this isn't quite a tomato red. It's a little more maybe brick red, but it's that classic red that I think like all anyone can wear. And then the two colors that I definitely recommend a uh, lip liner with is Screamer because Screamer is so dark it's like Max Rebel is the only other thing I can kind of compare it to right now in my mind and then Brucey also it's um, a beautiful color it says it's a matte but it goes on like a cream lipstick so you can have those accidents that cream lipsticks can have. So I would just say with the two dark, dark colors, 
throw a lip liner on and you will be good to go. So I love these lipsticks. I am so glad that I finally was able to pick them up. Did you guys pick up any of the collection? Were you waiting? Um, I think this is your last chance. So if you want the collection, um, I saw the press, the PR kit they still have, but they're sold out of the individuals except for Fred. Fred is the only one you can get as an individual. And I think they said this is like, the last or second to last restock. So these are actually going to be out of ColourPop's um, website soon, they said. So um, I would definitely grab them while they're on Poshmark. Uh, no, while they're on ColourPop before they go to Poshmark and get jacked up to like $50 a lipstick. I love Poshmark, but sometimes people be going a little cray cray with the prices. Not that I haven't paid some of them for uh, some certain makeup things that I've wanted, but it's just a little ridiculous uh, how crazy um, people resell the stuff for. It's like you're making your money back double times and you're just being greedy, some of you people, but it is what it is. Um, oh, quick little story. I'll give you a little uh, horror story. I was on Poshmark. This was like my first time ever using it. I wanted to get the blood sugar palette because it was sold out everywhere. And I just looked on Poshmark to see if I could find someone who was selling it for reasonable. And I found someone who was selling it for the exact price. So I think it's $54, $55. It's in the 50s, I believe, the blood sugar palette. Or maybe it was 47 But it was decently close that I was like, okay, well, if I got the blood sugar palette uh, from Morphe and just got that and just paid shipping and handling, it would have come out to the same price. And then after I buy it, I get a message from the woman an hour later saying, oh, I didn't realize how much Poshmark took out, you need to pay me 20 more dollars or whatever. And I was like, lady, you can go fuck yourself. This, I don't know who the hell you think you are selling me something and then trying to extort more money out of me. And then she went psycho because I reported her because she was being shady and she like puts my picture up on her page saying that like, oh, I'm selling her. And I was like, okay, now that's really fucked up because you saw in my thing that I'm a minority and because you're some rich, older white woman, you think, oh, it's funny. I'm going to put her up as uh for sale like I own her on my page. No, I got that bitch fucking kicked off Poshmark. And like, I don't understand why some of those women are just so nuts. Like, I get it, you're there to make money, but if you're jacking up the price even more than the store is, you have no reason to get upset when people are getting upset at you when they want to buy something and you're charging for something that was $52, you're charging $350, people get pissed. And... I'm going to stop myself before I get into more trouble. So uh, let me know what you think of the lipsticks down below. Uh, do you like any of them? Did you pick any of them up? Are you going to plan to pick any of them up before they uh, disappear into the makeup uh, heavens forever? Um, I'm sure that they'll do another collab with her or these will pop up again somehow. Makeup that does really well that seems to happen because I love when they say oh final restock and then it's like they have all this extra inventory well just sell it till you know what I don't like I said I don't own a business so it some of the stuff I'm saying might not be plausible but uh just let me know what you think of the lipsticks down below. Did you get any? Did you like them? Did you love them? Was this not your thing? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. 
and um thinking about getting the just my mint palette but it kind of looks like the just my luck palette so i'm kind of torn on that and like i said i'm kind of figuring out a low buy but it's not going to you know i'm still going to be buying makeup but i don't want to be buying makeup at the level i was buying makeup the last two years and if i don't make vib rouge that's fine it's ridiculous you know being like "Ooh, i'm rouge at this i'm platinum at that and then like you know i really don't i need to save money and yeah it, it'll be It'll be an interesting year. I will definitely, you know, still be doing makeup looks. I'll still be having makeup on here. None of that's going to change, so don't worry. I have my Jeffree Star Beautylish bag coming soon. I'm sure there's going to be a palette in there. I heard there's a palette in there, and I own every single one of Jeffree Star's palettes except the first two, um... What were the Beauty Killer and Androgyny? I don't have those two. I have every other uh, palette that he owns. So I'm probably going to be giving a palette away when um, my Beautylish unboxing uh, happens. That's going to be at the end of the month. They said the 20th they're going to start sending them out. So can't wait to do that for you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, YouTube. Bye.